So there may have been a riot in Austin if the Longhorns had not extended an official head coaching offer to Rodney Terry after leading UT to the Elite Eight. After officially being introduced this past week, our very own Matt Lively spoke with a reporter who's been covering the Longhorns all season. I'm so happy to be joined by KVU's Tyler Feldman, does great work down there. And Tyler, you've been all over this Rodney Terry news and you've been covering Texas basketball. First and foremost, you know, what was your reaction to learning that Rodney Terry was going to get that interim tag ripped off? My immediate reaction about Rodney Terry getting the interim tag pulled off, not surprised. Chris Del Conte speaking Tuesday here at his introductory press conference said that the decision was made December 13th after that Rice game, the first game Chris Beard didn't coach. He said that he knew Terry was the guy. He just wanted to see Terry perform and earn the job. It seemed like during March Madness, the country sort of began to fall in love with Rodney Terry. It seems like his team loves him. And as he showed emotionally, he certainly loved this team. How do you think the guys on the roster and then the fan base react to this hire? The fan base seems to be really excited. Now, Rodney Terry told us actually during the pandemic, he purchased a home here in Austin. Regardless of the future of his life, he wanted to call Austin home. So I think this was always in the back of his mind, even though he didn't come out and say that directly. But he also talked about the growth that he's done as a coach and as a person. And I thought this was really interesting, Matt. But he didn't have a ton of success at Fresno State. He did not have a ton of success at UTEP. But that's because he said that he wasn't enjoying the moment. He wasn't where his feet were at. And that is what he's preached all season long. Be present. Be where your feet are at. Rodney Terry made a promise to himself to just be more present be a better leader, be a better coach. And I think that growth, that humility is what made him so lovable during this impressive run where he went 22 and eight as interim head coach this past season. It, clearly this is huge for recruiting as well, because you think about all the prospects that might've committed to Chris Beard, Rodney Terry likely was doing a lot of that recruiting. So what does this say about the future of Texas basketball to keep him in house? The future's bright. Now, a lot of the guys were asked the players, the whole team was there today to cheer on Roddy Terry. That's how much of an impact. My favorite part was Roddy Terry was actually getting the players to participate in his speech, almost asking them questions like he would as a coach, and they would answer because they know what he's asking about. I thought that was really cool. But I think a lot of the guys will end up staying. None of them came out front and said that publicly. I think that's the new strategy if you're a Division One athlete, a talented basketball player. But you look at the top player in Texas, Ron Holland. He has been committed to Texas the whole way through. Chris Beard through the season. Rodney Terry has posted some pictures on social media. So he's coming. Ron Holland is coming. The program's excited. So right now is the excitement, the honeymoon phase. You know, Rodney Terry is now officially head coach. I think the pressure will start to mount a little bit more as the season nears and the, the preseason workouts start. But give Rodney Terry credit. He has galvanized this program during a time when it really needed that galvanization. 